Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors. We've got another vintage collection figure review. We've got Axe Woves. Again, like I mentioned in the Migs Mayfeld review before, very excited to have uh, these figures, this particular set of three figures that were exclusive to Target in the US, I think, from if memory serves me correctly. If it's not, it's Target, it's Walmart. It's uh, one of the others. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I can't, it's just so hard to keep track. There's exclusives everywhere. And uh, I think we've been very lucky that these have actually come out in Australia and haven't had to, you know, pay stupid prices on eBay for them. So I'm glad I sort of held out hope um, and just sort of waited um, and, yeah, spent some money on some Marvel stuff in between. So I'm glad these have shown up. Axe Woves, yeah, he's getting a Black Series release as well soon. Um, yeah, not sure why he was missing from the last episode of Season 2. I thought he was a really good really good part in the episode he was in, that episode three of season two, part 10, I don't know, I can't remember, 11, part 11, <laughs> it's all a blur, this is VC228, so um, yeah, again, we've got the same figures on the back as the last one, um, yep, Cosca Reeves will come next, really excited to set these three up together for some photos, to go get my Bo-Katan out after this. Um, and yeah, I've said many times, we're very spoilt for Mandos at the moment. There's a lot of Mandalorians coming out, and uh, I'm not tired of it at all, as they're just too good. So a lot of people already customising their, their Death Watch Mando to make this guy, but I'm glad waited for the real thing. Just looking at the figure in the bubble, looks pretty good likeness to... Um, completely blanking on his name right now, Simon, I think it was... It'll come to me as soon as I stop recording. Um, yeah, he was. I think he was fantastic in the episode. Just had a real sort of nice rugged look about him. He just played a good Mando. Looking at the, the figure and the helmet. Helmet looks a little big there. It looks just a little bit bubble-ended, but that just may be the way it's sort of squashed into the mould here. Um, and also the line, the paint line sort of across the top, giving the, giving the illusion that it's been like lifted a bit. Uh, it's a jetpack in the back there, so uh, yeah, we're just going to go straight ahead, rip this guy off the card, and uh, we'll get a look at the figure, so the jetpack comes separate, that's nice. That should get singular lone blaster out, so we've seen that a few times already, there is the helmet. And yeah, it appears to have just been a little bit squashed in there, so it made it look a little bit taller than it is. But um, yeah, if it sits on the head nicely, that'll be good. I'm sure it will. Um, and yeah, if not, a little bit of hot water, and you can get this guy, this thing, back into shape. So let's get Axe out of here, and he's a he's a good looking figure. He's a great looking. Action figure, let's just get a little bit more closer up. So I think for the most parts, he's reusing parts from the Mandalorian himself. Um, he does have his own sort of holster here, which is nice. The peg for the jetpack on the back, so we'll pop that one on. That looks good. Now, interestingly, jetpack is missing missing a piece so there we have that <laughs> good old QC I almost panicked a little bit I thought we'd be lost so yeah that piece hasn't even been glued on out of the, into the package before it's gone into the packaging uh, there's a little spot of glue but really not enough um, easy fix not a big deal I'm just glad the part was there because yeah with those blind boxes that we've been getting some piece of people have had some uh, horror stories, so I'm glad. I'm glad that worked out. But he can say it's battle damage. I don't know. <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm going to glue that back on. So I love the look of his armor. Like I said, you know, mostly reuse from Mando. I think the shoulders are probably different. Um, torso. Uh, very similar, I guess. I'm not sure. But the head sculpt looks really good. Nice. Let's zoom up on that a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Really nicely done. 
like I said, they've they've really nailed it on these three and three quarter inch figures lately. Um, for the size, you know, to get that sort of five o'clock shadow on the moustache and the beard. You know, you get a little bit of a, you know, little bit sort of off where it's in front of the ear, but you know, that's for the scale. I'm I'm cool with that. That's fine. That's not a big deal at all. Um, so where is the blaster pistol? Pop that in his hand. Damn jetpack. Falling apart. So yeah, that. Once the pistol sits nicely in his hand there. I assume it will fit nicely in his holster, but I'm going to keep it in his hand for now. And we'll get the, uh, Try the helmet on and see how he looks. Yeah, that looks good. Again, probably a little bit squashed. Um, but yeah, nothing. A little bit of hot water, a little bit of flex, just to sort of fill that out wider and then run it under some cold water as well just to get that shape back into it the way it should be. But yeah, that's it's a good fit. Really good fit. Looks good. Part of me feels like it's a little big, but um, no, I think that's all right. You, just, you can push that quite far down on his head um, to the point where it does hit his armor. So if you just sort of just keep it up a little bit off the neck, I think that looks good. But again, with these figures with the head sculpts underneath, fantastic. I kind of wish they did it with like they did with Bo-Katan. They gave you the swap out heads. Um, that way you do get a nice sort of realistic shaped helmet. You don't have to worry about, you know, making the head too small for the helmet or making the helmet too big for the head. Um, yeah, you can really, if you do swap out versions, it comes out in a lot better. So that's just my opinion. But yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this guy. He looks awesome. So glad to have the crew from the Ares episode. I feel like that hip joint might be a little bit, a little bit out, but um, you can see there's a little bit more of a gap there. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to sort of look at him closely and try and work out what's going on there. Again, probably just a little bit too much blue went into one part of the figure and not enough into the other. But yeah, no, I think that'll be a nice easy fix. There might just be a little bit of extra plastic in the joint or something like that. Easy fix. Not that we should be fixing these figures at 35 bucks each. Uh, but yeah, loving this figure. Really nice. Digging it. Cool. Loving the black boots. Which, yeah, is unique to this figure, I believe. I Mando doesn't wear them, so that's cool. They may not be unique to this figure, but um, yeah, in terms of reused parts, yeah, that's not reused from Mando, so awesome. There is Axe Woves, stunning figure, and uh, yeah, I'll have Cosca Reeves up next, so stay tuned for that in the next sort of 24 hours, I guess, uh, from the time this one drops. And we'll see you then. Until then, may the force be with you always.